Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining with me on Facebook tonight. I hope that you have had a, a good day and a good week in spite of the circumstances that we find ourselves in. Um, I want to take just a few moments just to kind of uh, generalize some things, some thoughts that I have uh, for you and for our church and, and for the future. Uh, first of all, I know God's in control. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know it best when things seem to be out of control. Uh, God's got a plan and a purpose uh, for our lives and for uh, our ministry there at uh, Erastus Church. And uh, maybe this is a, uh, a supreme opportunity to regroup our, ourselves spiritually. Um, God has told us many times to, to uh, retreat to our prayer closet and to get quiet, to pray, to listen to the still, quiet voice of God. And uh, quite honestly, I, I see that happening all across our nation as people are drawn to, to be to, uh, uh, separate and, and, and apart and by themselves. And this would be a, um, it's important. It's important that we take time out for ourselves. And this, this could be that supreme opportunity. So I want to encourage you uh, in that. I miss being with you. Um, I miss the fellowship. Uh, I miss the Spirit of God in our midst uh, when we gather physically together at the church. And uh, these, these days I've been with you uh, has been a blessing. And I know this too shall pass. And um, we'll reestablish our connections and our, uh, the physical uh, sense of our church and being together. And I just hope that you're all doing well. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is each week on, on Wednesdays, uh, thank you, Brother Wayne, for uh, eventually posting this on the church's Facebook page. Um, but we'll do this each Wednesday, just a time of encouragement, uh, prayer, uh, reading on the, in the Word of God, and, uh, and talking a little bit about that. Uh, but I want you to know before we go any further that I'm praying for you. I'm praying for our church, but not only our church, but uh, brother pastors and sister churches all across this great land of ours. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's difficult uh, to say the least. But our God, Jehovah, Jehovah God, Jehovah Rapha, uh, he is the great healer. And uh, he'll, he'll pull us through, you know. Uh, what we need to be reminded of is, uh, is that as a Christian, we're a winner either way. Uh, no matter what happens, death comes, sickness comes, God has a, uh, a destiny, a destination for us to arrive at, and that's a place called heaven. And so um, try to combat uh, the depression and the bad thoughts by remembering that you're a child of God. But if you're not, uh, Jesus Christ died for you. And uh, the hope that I have this, uh, this evening and uh, the words that I stand on can, can be the same for you. Uh, as one day I asked Jesus to come into my heart, uh, confess my sins to him. I believed in what he did on the cross. He died there. He was buried. And I believe that he rose again. And on that day, I made Jesus the Lord of my life. And you can do that by praying a prayer and just ask Jesus to come into your heart. Uh, believe in the finished work of the cross and the resurrection uh, on that third morning. And uh, if you believe that in your heart and you ask it, believe in Jesus will come in and save you today. Uh, at this time, I'm going to ask if we all would just to bow our heads for just a moment. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. And then I have a few words that I'd like to share with you from God's Word today. Heavenly Father, I ask your blessings to be upon us all. Uh, today, uh, we are certainly faced with uh, uncharted territory, troublesome times. But God, I pray that we might ever be reminded of the goodness and the greatness of God, that you're able to do, Lord, above what which we can even imagine, uh, God, your greatness far su supersedes what can we what we can even think. Uh, Lord, we're just so thankful for your love and your comfort, and I pray, God, that you would be with each and every 
uh, person of Erastus Church, Lord, that you'd give them a special anointing today, that they might be reminded that they do not walk uh, through this valley alone, but you're with them. And uh, may we pray for one another and encourage one another as we can. And through it all, may we give carefully God the glory. And we pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to speak with you this afternoon briefly from the Old Testament, the book of Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, the 11th and the 12th verse. For I know the thoughts that I have toward you, saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And I want to add verse 13 to this as well. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. You know, there's a lot of negativity in our world, and it, it was here long before any virus uh, came along. Uh, they're just people that just see the the downside of things. They see the problem instead of the answer. They see the darkness instead of the light. And it would be easy to uh, to be pulled into that rut even today. But church, be reminded that God has a plan uh, from the very beginning when he created us. He had a plan for us uh, this virus did not catch God out of, uh, off guard. Uh, it has not challenged him in any way. And uh, I think that we ought to take what we've been given and make the best of it. And through that, that our reaction, uh, our words, and our worship would praise and honor him. Jeremiah wrote and told us that God knows uh, the thoughts that we think, the, the thoughts that, that I think toward him. And, and so we want to think in ways that would be positive and, uh, and give God that glory, give God that honor, and tell others about the greatness of the Lord. And uh, God has thoughts of peace for us. It's not to be chaotic. Uh, it's not to be something that would um, uh, knock us off our feet. But God has thoughts of peace, and it's not of evil. Even when we go through the trying times, uh, as I preach Sunday, even in the trying times, there's a lesson to be learned. Uh, there's an opportunity to, go, to grow stronger uh, for the cause of Christ. Uh, and so God doesn't think evil toward us. It's uh, allowing uh, this virus to, to, to run kind of rampant in our, in our country. It's not something that God did out of evil or out of hate, uh, but God allowed. And, and our listen, our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. Uh, but we've just our job is to is to see the lesson, to see the uh, the strength, to see the positive even in the midst of the negative. And uh, you know, to know this, to know that God's purpose is pure. To me, it gives us an expected end. I don't have to worry, you know, as, as numbers might grow, uh, whether it be those that contracted or those in the hospital and, and unfortunately those who pass on, I, I don't have to worry about even in the midst of that, will God be in tomorrow? God will be in tomorrow. And God, and if, if, if he so gives us another day, God will be in that day. That's, that's what I expect out of God. I expect God-like things. And so, you know, be reminded that what comes from God is good for us. And, uh, you know, sometimes we, you know, we may not know exactly how things are going to end, but if we've put our faith in God, uh, we know it's going to end on a good note. We know uh, in the end God has control. And, uh, and, and I realize that there, there is uncertainty, uh, but as a child of God, just know that that uncertainty is going to work out. It's going to be okay. In verse 12, Then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. You know, I, I know some, some young people probably never, they don't, they don't understand what a busy signal is if somebody... If somebody made a phone call, some of you are my age and older, you know 
You, there's times you'd get on the phone, you'd call somebody and the phone be busy. And that meant that they were uh, on their phone already and you'd have to wait uh, until, that, uh, until that phone cleared. But you know God never gives us a busy signal. Praise the Lord. Never gives us a busy signal. He is always, always ready to receive our call. And so let's pray unto him. Let's, uh, let's know that he will hearken unto us. In verse 13, and ye shall seek me and find me when you search with, for me with all of your heart. You know, God's not pl playing a game of hide and seek with us. He wants to be found. He wants you to find him today. And my friend, I believe with all of my heart, it'll bring a peace about you. Uh, it'll, it'll bring calm to a troubled spirit uh, when we seek the peace and the, and the love and the strength of our Heavenly Father. He can be found. Uh, he's not hard to find. If we, if we get on our knees and we pray and we earnestly seek Him with all of our heart, we will find God. So be encouraged today. Um, as you look around you, there's a lot of positives. You know, today uh, I look out at a beautiful, beautiful uh, spring setting. The grass is green. The leaves are bursting out on the trees. Uh, we've got a, a, a great shower of rain to wash the pollen out of the trees. And folks, this is all an indicator. Is that God's saying, hey, I'm still here. I'm still doing what I said I would do. Now you do what you're supposed to do. And so Christian, give him praise, honor, and glory because he deserves it. May you have a wonderful evening. And uh, we'll be getting together to put the worship service uh, together for Sunday morning. Pray for us as we do that, and, uh, and, and I'll certainly be praying for you. Let's dismiss in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, dismiss us now with your love, with your strength, and, and Lord, uh, let us understand uh, that you're in control and that your purpose is going to be all right. You work out your purpose in our lives. Just, Lord, help our faith. Help our faith to increase. Bless all these dear people is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So good to be with you. God bless you. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.